today. From GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. This is the NFL on EA Sports. in the National Football League. You get a look there at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Seattle Seahawks and the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Seattle's offense ready to go here for the first time, and leading them is the seven-time Pro Bowler in his 10th year now in the NFL, Russell Wilson. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. The beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football and rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. He'll buy some time. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jaron Reed in there to drop him for a loss on the play. Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second day. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now it's Wilson. Returning right back to Lockett. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. First and ten, it's Wilson. Uses the stiff arm. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. And that guy just keeps getting better. And I'm talking about Tyler Lockett, who just made that nice catch there for a first down. Now in his seventh season with Seattle, last year may have been his finest yet. And even 100 catches, many of them of the spectacular variety. Paired with DK Metcalf, a heck of a dynamic duo for the Seahawks. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now... Everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 31 yards there and a first down. How about that, partner? That's a gutsy run, a physical run, an explosive run. And he's inside the 10-yard line now. I don't know if you hand it to him again on this play. 
but make the defense think that you will, and maybe you have some options off of it. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Here's Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. It hasn't been a real good start to this game from a defensive perspective, but now after the incompletion on second down, things may be changing. If they can come up with one more play, they might be able to get out of it with just a field goal attempt. On third and goal, Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. I know we saw the pass and the completion and obviously the resulting loss of yardage. To me, that play broke down with the blocking on it because if you're going to try and swing it that far outside, that blocking's got to hold up to give your guy a chance. And the defense, they weren't fooled at all. No, not at all. Boy, were they aggressive on that one. kick is good and the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead well they didn't get in the end zone but pretty good balance there on the opening drive between the run and the pass yeah I think that that was probably what they wanted to get accomplished right out of the gate throw the ball with success run it of course to set the tone so who saw the offensive coordinator's play sheet probably wrote himself a little note Exactly what we wanted to do. Probed it early and got it done. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he'll return this one all the way out of the other side of the field. Patrick Mahomes now in his fifth season with the Chiefs, ready to bring out this high-powered Kansas City offense for the first time. Another big year from arguably the best quarterback in the NFL. And while we enjoy his excellence, let's not take it for granted. He threw for over 4,700 yards, second only to Deshaun Watson. 38 touchdown passes and led the Chiefs back to the Super Bowl while completing a career-high 66% of his passes. He did have a toe injury during the playoffs that hobbled him, and he had off-season surgery to correct that. We expect this guy to continue to be magnificent. Mahomes now on first down. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. A gain of six there on first. Second down at four. Here's Mahomes to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. A gain of five, good enough for the first down.
pousse. Today, from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Here's Richie James on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The 49er offense coming out here for the first time, led by their quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo. Fifth season with the 49ers, eighth overall in the National Football League. Athletic, accurate, strong arm, knows how to make something out of nothing, and is also an excellent leader. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And now Mostert is going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Strong start by this defense. Third and short, they go with a run. Stonewalled for no gain. I played for a guy who always talked about setting tones and meeting force with force. That felt like it on that play, didn't it? And they met him in a big way and won. What a great job by the defense. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return, and the Lions will take over. And here comes the new-look Lion offense here in 2021, led by their quarterback in his first season in Detroit after five in L.A., Jared Goff. I love this guy's makeup. He is not afraid to fail. He attacks on just about every snap. Wants to throw the football downfield first. He'll throw it short if he has to. But bottom line, he must put a lot of pressure on the defense with his arm. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to throw. Goff. And oh, right away, he lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. Fumble on first down now. Here's second down. From his goal line here. Goff out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Hey, 
49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Now gone. He'll get this off to Swift. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> on the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. 